WebSockets are a great way to send data back and forth between the user's browser and the server without having to rely on polling. This is great for apps where you need to deal with data as soon as it comes in. But what happens if the data arrives faster than what you can handle? That's called back pressure, and it can cause some serious headaches for you. Unfortunately, the WebSocket API doesn't have a nice way to deal with back pressure. The WebSocket Stream API combines the power of streams with WebSockets, which means back pressure becomes way easier to handle. Start by constructing a new WebSocket stream and passing it the URL of the WebSocket server. Next, wait for the connection to be opened, which returns a readable stream and a writable stream. By calling readable stream.getreader, you get a readable stream default reader from which you can then read the data from. To write data, call writable stream.getwriter, which gives you a writable stream default writer so that you can then write data to that. 